All right, we are going to do today some slash and dash. We are going to start out with the word circulation. When we talked about the heart and the blood and the veins and the circulatory system in our body, we talked about circulation, how, our, how the blood runs through our body and through our veins. So I'm first going to do my syllables. So I'm gonna think about how many syllables are in circulation. Circulation, circulation. All right, so I'm going to do my four um, lines here. Circulation, circulation. All right, so those are my sounds or my syllables. I'm gonna dash the, or slash those. And now I'm going to dash the sounds, okay? So I'm gonna start thinking about circulation. So sir, s, er are the two sounds that I hear. Now I've seen, let's see, I can hear the s, 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 or I know that sometimes I, there are words that start with that have the S on that start with C, like I know that circle and um, let's see, circus, both of those words start with the S, uh, C. So, and circulation kind of starts the same. So I hear that er sound, and I know like in circle and circus, I see that it's er is an ir. I always know when I hear er that there has to be a vowel to control what the r is going to do, okay? So sir, I've seen er make the er sound. All right, so we have a couple different options for the first syllable. And then we've got sir q, k, you, I can hear the k, 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 see, sometimes it's c, k, but usually that's kind of at the end of the word, so sir, k, you, I hear the u, and now we've got l, a, l, a, l, a, maybe an a, i, with that long a sound, um, circulation, uh, mm. now this part's tricky, but when I think of other words that I know, I do know that like creation, because I kind of think, feel like sh, and then I got uh, and n. Mm. but then I start to think about other words that I know that end with shun, creation, I've seen play station spelled like T I O N. Um, so shun, sh, it kind of looks like that. It sounds like that. But I know that in other words, I have seen shun spelled with the T I O N. So here we go. Let's put some of these together. Let's do s. Should we pick C or S? I kind of think since we know circle and circus kind of start like circulation. Let's go with the C I R. K, we said can be C K or C or just K, but generally in the middle of the word we don't have the C K. Circ U. And then we've got L A. We could do A I or just A. Kind of thinking that maybe it's just that A. And then shun. Let's see if S H U N looks right. Now, like we said, when we look at creation and station, when I look at circulation, for some reason, that just doesn't look right. So I think I'm going to do what I know that I've seen in other words, and I'm going to do the T-I-O-N. Circulation. And if I look in my dictionary, we are correct. We got it right. Circulation. All right, let's do one more slash and dash. So make sure you have your notebook out. This time we're going to spell the word atmosphere. The atmosphere is the place in the earth that surrounds us. So atmosphere, we're first going to do our syllables. So let's see how many syllables we have. Atmosphere, 
atmosphere. All right, so let's see. I've got at mus or actually sphere. That's kind of like one syllable, atmosphere. Okay, so I'm going to slash those so I can tell where the syllables get separated. And let's hear now we'll do our dashes for our sounds. At, I hear that at. And that one we probably know is the at sound just like that. At, m, m, uh, kind of here. I hear definitely an M and then an uh, at m, maybe it's an O, at m, at m, s, f, e, er, s, f, e, er. Okay, so let's see. We're in a little space right there. Okay, so an atmosphere. Let's do the s. I've got the s. I hear a f. But I know from other words that I know before, sometimes PH makes the F sound. And then for E, er, let's see, I hear an er at the end. E, that's that long E sound. So I know it has to have a vowel with it somewhere. Maybe it's an E, E, R. Maybe it's an E, A, R. Or I know that sometimes if I just put an E here and I add an E, silent E on the end, that that could also make the long E sound. So I've got a few options for the end of the word. All right, so let's see when we put them all together and decide. So like, I'm trying to decide about this. Well, we'll see what happens when we get to there. So at, and then ma, maybe we'll try the U first, and sf. Let's see if this looks right. Um, we'll do our first choices for all of them. Now, when I look at that word, I think, mm, that does not really look right. So let's see what I could change for this. Um, I know that, so let's see. Let's try this PH because I know the word like phone, I've seen PH at the end of the word, like graph, hit. So at must f. Yeah, I'm gonna try that PH instead. And then I could do E E R. Something up here still doesn't look right. I'm gonna try to change this U into an O. That starts to look a little bit better. At must f ear. That ending still doesn't really look right to me. E A R, eh, maybe. Or E R E. Oh, and actually, I've seen that word sphere before in math. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Let me look in my dictionary. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we got it right. A T M O. S P H E R E and after much deliberation we got it right all right